Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Yogi Zenudo. Welcome to my channel. And this is a two part series, so if you haven't seen the first part of it, I'll link below. Continuing from the last video, I had just met up with my buddies. Mm -hmm. Really? They're all cold samples. Okay. We have a microphone. We can turn the dots on just I've only seen snow fall twice. One as a child, one in Whitney. Now I get to see it for a third time, but like... Real flakes, not hail, but real flakes. It was snowing so much so that in the morning, I think about like two inches of snow had piled over our cars and everything. Outside. Hey, Diana. Hi. <laughs> Good morning, Kevin. To make the whole boobies. Went through all that effort. <laughs> and everybody forgot. Hey Josh. Good boobies. morning. Good morning. That's so awkward. <laughs> Josh is awkward. Hello, Andrew. Hey. Hey, Chris. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna climb a mountain. We're gonna hike a really long time into base camp and freeze our asses off. But then we'll climb a mountain. I'm hoping not to die. <laughs> oh God. They told me I would keep all ten fingers. I, I did not. I said eight. That morning was the gear check, guys. So they're just going off the top of their heads, listing off everything, making sure everybody had what they needed. After gear check, we drove to the base of the mountain. So we climbed about like six miles up into base camp and we had a snowshoe the entire way, which I did end up falling oh, yeah. about four yeah. times that first day to make me feel any better. Everyone else did fall too, but I'm pretty sure no one fell as much as I did. The avalanche rescue school. He went into depth about talking when your transceiver gets closer to a buried transceiver, what happens, and how people look for a buried, well, transceiver that's attached to a body. He even talked about how a transceiver sends out a signal. We had a hike up further up the hill and he would go down and he would hide the transceiver. I'm filming my two buddies and they're working together as a team. One is using the avalanche probe which is the stick that you're seeing poking into the ground and then the other person is using the avalanche transceiver and as he's scraping the avalanche transceiver against the snow um, you know, rubbing his knuckles against the snow, the closer you are to the ground, you know, the, the better the results are. And it was a very thorough class. At night, the winds picked up. Snowstorm did not die down, it actually picked up more. In the morning, we were tent bound until 10 a.m. Buddy here, he was filming the storm when everyone else was in bed and he said it was really strong. So he was able to catch this footage right here that you see and all of our tents just being like washed over with a bunch of snow and um by around 10 i believe 10 a.m it was a really quick powwow to discuss what we were going to do since right now the safety of the team we could not summit to matterhorn peak third day what we did is was just an entire snow school the guy taught us the proper footing to navigate up a mountain walk down the mountain and he taught us how to properly use our ice axe and why you need your ice axe and never let go of your ice axe. He taught us how to do an ice, uh, a self arrest if you were to fall. So we did a lot of practicing where we had to switch over to our left and switch over to our right. And then the two groups switched and then I went and tried ice climbing. So these ice climbers are climbing on ice and they're hacking away at the ice and chunks of ice are flying down. For the ice climbing, it was the first time I ever was, that I, I ever felt nervous because as I'm watching everyone climbing this ice wall, they're really putting a lot of force just to latch on their shoes onto the wall. Like we're talking your two spikes on your crampons just on ice and then trusting those two spikes to push you up the wall and that kind of made me nervous to be honest and okay. when I'm at the rock climbing gym the way that I climb up is I use the arch on my left foot to push off instead of my toes because I don't have as much leverage on my toes with my left foot and I was very concerned that I won't have enough force to climb up this wall let alone a thick sheet of ice that I have to really dig my crampons into and when I was explaining this to my guide I was saying like hey I don't I don't think I can do this and Joe was just 
amazing and instead of saying like okay fine let's move on he was like you know not a lot of people can say that they've ice climbed why not just try it why not just try it i'll rope you up and just give it a shot like he just encouraged me to just do it it felt really great to actually try ice climbing um yeah i thought it was a lot of fun and then after that then we had a hike back down um the mountain and then get our gear and and then it was the end sure. of that and it was it was for me i don't know if anyone else felt it but whenever i'm on a mountain i feel more whole as a person i just find more about myself because of the mountain and this is why i'm seeking for harder adventures and adventures that pushes myself to the limit and i thought i reached my limit but i haven't yet so with that said on to the next course and we're looking into mount shasta i don't know when that's going to be and i'm thinking i might get certified in something else i don't know yet kind of have to see but i don't want to tell you guys yet what it's going away but um yeah uh, i really enjoyed this trip and i hope you guys enjoyed like being here with me and hearing how my first mountaineering course went and thank you so much for watching this video thumbs up if you liked it thumbs up if you want to see more because i really really enjoy going out there and filming and i promise i'll do a better job at filming but I definitely enjoy sharing it with you guys and I just hope that these videos just encourage you guys to go out there and push your limits and just just be one with nature. Thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Food prep but so far this is what I will be bringing with me or wearing on me.